Hi everyone, I'm Vandana Rai from Immigration Advisors New Zealand and I'm making this video because we're getting a lot of questions from, from clients who are wanting to study again on uh, what course can they study, can they give, get uh, cross credits, can they get recognition of prior learning. So I'm making this video to give as much information as I can um, in this space of cross credits and uh, prior learning. So what exactly is this? Uh, there are students who may have studied a level 5, level 6 program um, previously and now they are researching the course that they want to do. They probably are wanting to do a, a higher program at a level 8 or a level 9 and were researching ways to reach there. So if if you are one of them, if you want to see with your previous qualification, with your previous work experience, how much cross credits you can achieve, what could be the, the program that you could do in the shortest time possible, do get in touch. What could some possible options be? Um, if to, you've done a, a level five, six um, diploma, if you've done a program which is not at level seven, if you've done a program which is not at bachelor's level, but if you are wanting to do a second program at level eight or at level nine, you could have your own reasons for that. Probably um, the, the course content appeals more to you, probably a long-term residence, Masters gives you more points than a bachelor. So whatever your reason be, if you're wanting to do a master's program without a prior level seven or a level um, or a bachelor's, there, there could be options around that space. So how that will work? Uh, how that really works is there are providers who can give cross credits for what you've studied. They can give, they can recognize your prior learning. They can recognize your prior academic learning and they can also recognize your prior uh, work experience. And if they do so in the process, you may become eligible for a master's uh, program without a bachelor's uh, previous qualification. So do contact us if you uh, are in the process of finding a program for yourself and wanted to do a master's program or a high-end program and were not too sure of your eligibility or your academic eligibility for the course. Another thing that I would, would like to uh, stress and inform here is that if you are thinking of studying, probably this is the best time for that. Uh, why? Because that gives you more options and um, the universities and the providers are offering a lot of discounts, a lot of scholarships and bursaries in these times. So we have seen providers offering around $4,000 uh, discounts or scholarships to a range of around $10,000 of discounts, scholarships, bursaries, depending upon what program and what course and with what, which provider you enroll. So you may just end up saving 15 to 30 percent of the tuition fees and that could be a huge uh, huge saving so uh, please uh, one one last thing that i would like to in, you know tell or um, inform you is uh, in the process don't forget to research the course well so you may get cross credits you may get recognition of prior learning but one thing which is really important for you is to find the program that be best fits you find a program that you really want to study to find a program that you see your career uh, progressing in so there's no shortcut on that you are reinvesting in yourself you are paying again so make sure that you research the course that you want to do well make sure that you know the benefits of those course how it's gonna upskill you what are the benefits post completion uh, if you need any information in that space we are there to help as well please get in touch if um, if you're considering studying again and we'll be happy to offer advice um, and information uh, for you to take a well-informed decision. Thank you so much.